so hey there and uh good morning welcome to day number four of uh my six day hike in the pitcher rocks national lakeshore on the north country trail um before we before we continue with day number four let's talk a little bit about day number three um so on the tail end of day number two hiking out, I decided to hike back to Menissing Falls Visitor Center um, and um, uh, get the car. And then I was going to drive up to uh, basically Miner's Castle, park there at the um, North Country Trail uh, headquarters, and then um, hike, hike on from there. Um, well, that didn't exactly happen. I did get back to uh, the visitor center um, after um, an epic. Um, so for those of you that follow some hiking videos, especially those that hike in like the Sierra Nevada or do the PCT or Ridge Trails in Colorado, you're familiar with a, a term called post holing. Um, it's when you're uh, walking on snow without snowshoes and um, the top layer of the snow is kind of frozen. The bottom is softer. And as the sun heats up, um, that soft edge starts to give away. And when you step on it, you can go through it and you basically post hole. You make a post hole in the ground and your leg goes st straight down. Um, it, it, I mean, it happens all, all the time when you're not, not using snow snowshoes. Um, yeah, to my knowledge, it's not supposed to be a regular occurrence when you're hiking in the forest. However, I managed to do it on day number two on the way out. Just before I got to uh, the Sandpoint Junction, um, I stepped off of a log. I went to step down and then take another step forward. And my left leg <laughs> went whoosh, completely down. And um, I was in mud I easily um to the top of my thigh um i managed to to pull it out quickly um but it was it was weird because I, I my leg went in I, my whole body went forward the pack went forward um i i was right at the at the um the bottom of a of a tree trunk um i, I put my hands forward and stopped myself um i was able to like i said able to get to get my leg out and then um uh, you know, stood up. I'm like, oh my god, that's crazy. You know, and I stopped. I took, you know, a quick five minutes just uh, to assess things. I mean, you know, make sure I didn't. You know, did, did I did I break anything? Did I damage anything? Did I pull anything? I I did have a little discomfort uh, in my right leg on the outside of my knee, um, but that that has since since gone away. Um, so, um. So that really took a lot. I mean, that getting back to the falls visitor center took a lot out of me. Um, and, um, I decided to, um, just, um, uh, run back, uh, see if they had an open space in the hotel. I checked in and, um, just let my body just do its thing. Um, and it turned out that was a good thing because, uh, day number three, which was yesterday, it rained. And I mean, it rained all day. It was 42 degrees and it rained and it rained and it rained. Um, and uh, today, the, I mean, the rain's obviously, I mean, it's gone. The uh, clouds are giving away. Um, some starting to see some, some blue skies. We'll, we'll show you some, some cool stuff here in a second. Um, and then, so I just, uh, just chilled, relaxed on, on day number three. Call it a zero, if you will. And then uh, here we are at day number four, and we are back on the trail. So what I've had to do is I've had to hike. Um, I, I, I drove um, to what's called the Little uh, Beaver Lake Trailhead, and I parked there, got all my gear. And I've had to hike in probably, oh, what does it say here? Uh, it says one and a half miles right there on the sign. I don't know if you can see it. So one and a half miles uh, to get to the actual north, the intersection with the North Country Trail. 
but there's the North Country Trail sign. And Chapel Beach is that way. Obviously, Beaver Creek is that way. And that's the way we're going to go. Because um, just past Beaver Creek, we go up and over. And then down the, down the ways. And um, we'll run into Pine, to, to, to Pine Bluff, which is where my uh, permitted campsite is. Um, but before we do that, I wanted to show you guys this. Because this is really quite amazing. Hold on. Here we go. Okay. So, that same spot where we just were... If you follow the North Country Trail and you go this way, this tells you that you're um, 0.2 miles from Cove's campground and the Cove's group is 1.6 miles on the NCT. And the amazing, absolutely crazy thing is, and I'm not making this up because this is video proof evidence, this is snow. Uh, this is snowpack. Um, and today is let's see today is t tuesday the 26th of may i think um yeah and there's still parts of this there's still uh totally frozen frozen snow that's uh that's absolutely crazy and trail goes that way okay so before we continue down that way to our campsite, let's take a little trail porn here and share with you guys. Some of the epicness of what's here. Basically, just walk down this sandy cliff. Be a pain in the butt getting back up, but we'll do it. So walk down, walk out. I'm gonna go this way. It's a little easier. Holes there, I doubt this. And here we are. Lake Superior. No picture rocks. National Lake Shore. How cool is that? All right, so back up from the lake, back on the North Country Trail, and we are on our way to past Beaver Creek Campground, and then up and over, and another, I don't know, mile, mile and a half, two miles, I don't know, whatever, to Pine Bluff, which we'll be set up for the night. Um, so I'll definitely have a really, really early start early start on the day um part of that is because i wanted to get completely set up and um i wanted to try tonight i don't know we're gonna try to see if we can do um some night photography and uh see if we can capture a couple shots of the milky way um the new moon is supposed to be um almost at zero, I think it's three three percent tonight. And if the weather cooperates, uh, I don't know. We'll see. If it cooperates, maybe we can pull it off. Um, it would definitely be cool. Problem is the, uh, the galactic center doesn't pop out really well until uh, almost wiped out. <laughs> um, doesn't pop out until about yeah two thirty three o'clock in the morning. So. Uh, means I'll have to sleep for a bit, set my alarm, get up, uh, get my headlamp on, hike down to, uh, it's called Beaver Lake, to the shoreline, and uh, set, set the camera up, let's see if we can get um, 
to get some some nighttime photography. I don't know. We'll see. All depends on the weather. Um, today, great day so far. Uh, surprise here, the trail. Obviously, being so close to the uh, to the lake, it's pretty sandy, and uh, so it's not it's not it's not muddy at all like it was when I was uh, when I was hiking on day on, on day number two. This is uh, it's all pretty dry already. So whatever water we had, it's already grounds already soaked it up, and. Uh, Makes it makes it nice to makes it nice to walk on. To be honest with you. So the sun's finally popping out. You can see. Um, it's beautiful, beautiful weather. I think it's like it might be 50, 52 degrees right now. It's hey, it's a little cool, but it's, you know, makes it so you're not burning up. And uh, just a really, really nice day. And. Uh, just glad to be one not working, two be on the trail, three be healthy, no broken legs, no pulled ligaments or tendons, and uh, just looking forward to some peace and quiet later on tonight. A little campfire and uh, just relaxing. It's, uh, just, I don't know. Just been looking forward to it. Um, legs, legs feel good. Um, I did, honestly, I did. I got back to the hotel uh, yesterday. Finally got the pack, pack out of the car, took it into the room, and I just went through everything again. And I took out anything that I thought wasn't needed. Um, there's still some extra gear in here. I mean, the, I used to be carrying a camera, and there's a f-stopper bag with them. Um, with a mic and some extra lenses and stuff, a couple extra batteries, but um, even the camera's an extra two, 2.6 pounds, and the bag's probably another one and a half. So and I could get even lighter. Uh, the other thing that really helped out the way I did this right here for today and tomorrow is I'm not carrying all of my food. I'm carrying my food for one one night and breakfast tomorrow so i'll have enough for lunch dinner and then breakfast on the way out and then i'll do the same thing tomorrow so i'm only carrying about a pound and a half maybe of uh of food in the food bag so that uh that lightened it up by about six pounds overall so all in all doing doing well doing doing really really well and uh, just wanted to check in with you guys, let you know that we are still hiking, still working on those, uh, as my, my friend and uh, Detroit United rugby coach, Rob Anderson would say, I'm chasing my dreams. We're still chasing my dreams. And uh, this is, this is all part of the all part of the adventure and all part of the preparation. But uh, days like today, when, I guess that's the good part, right? Is you have good days and you have bad days. Uh, day two on the trail, hiking out, was kind of a bad day. I mean, you're gonna run into problems like that. You're gonna, you, you, you know, and you just have to, gotta persevere, you gotta overcome. You gotta just re reassess where you are you know, and stay focused on the on the on the long-term goal. Long, long-term goal was not just finishing up that day. Long-term goal was how can I get back out here, make sure I'm healthy, make sure I didn't break anything or tear anything, and uh, and then uh, continue on. So, um, and all in all, for all, I think it was uh, I think it was definitely definitely worth it. I did. I have to tell you. So I went back. I checked in. I've been staying at a place called the Rome Inn in Munising, Michigan. Um, the staff there is incredible. Just want to say hello to Aaron and Brittany and Hannah. Um, all just amazingly 
great people, very accommodating, and uh, just just really, really willing to just go out of their way to do whatever it takes to make their customers happy. Um, highly, highly, highly recommend the place if you get a chance. Um, there's also inside a place called Tracy's, which is highly recommended to have dinner at. I haven't had dinner there yet because it was actually closed on Monday. Um, but I will be returning uh, later this weekend and uh, I plan on eating at Tracy's while, uh, while I'm there. Um, now, speaking of eating, there's this place at the stoplight in downtown Munising, right at the stop. I mean, there's only one stoplight there, can't miss it. Right in the corner, it's called A E H exclamation point burger. Wow, holy cow. So, not only does this place, and I'll include a photo. Not only does this place have a Velociraptor at the door eating a hamburger when you walk in, um, which is delicious by the way. Um, they, it's seasonal, but they have this incredible fish sandwich. I'll include a picture of that as well. Holy cow. It was delicious and of course recommended by Erin from the Roman and she was spot on. Um, an absolutely delicious, delicious sandwich. So if you're cruising through on your way to Marquette or you're just up here chilling out, taking in the North Country, if you get a chance, stop into the Roman, say hello to Erin and company, take a dinner at Tracy's if you can. If not, at least stop by A-Burger and uh, order the fish sandwich if they have it. If not, order the uh, the number one burger and tater tots. I, I was, yeah, I know, right? Hello, no french fries. Well, they do have french fries, but how many places do you go in to get tater tots? It's like, my, it's like my favorite food. So if you get a chance, you have to stop and say, say hi. So, good evening. Um, well, again, um, the day started off just incredible, and um, it's gotten just even even better. Um, the weather is just absolutely fantastic, um, and I thought I would spend a few minutes and show you around um, show you around camp. Um, so, I've got to switch the view. Hold on. So you walk into Pine Bluff Campground from the North Country Trail, right there. And that would be the sun setting in the west over Lake Superior. And as you walk in, you are greeted with a nice sign. It says Pine Bluff CG for campground. And it has a group fire ring, which um, I've been busy, I've got my little teepee ready to go and my extra stash over there. Um, I, won't, I won't have a long fire tonight, but I will have, um, will have one for a while. And then over here, a little to the right, you'll notice you have these um, food storage boxes. I didn't see them at all of the campsites, but it's definitely at this one. Um, and I think most back, country campsites have it so it's just uh you know it says protect the bears and your food so you put your you put your food in there and um you know no no backpacks not for trash you know pack out what you uh what you pack in and then there's a little map of the different campsites of which there are five of them on this uh on, at this location that can be permitted and i'm at camp number one which is right over here so walk over there's my permit attached to the post it either needs to be on the on the post or on your tent so that uh i think they actually um on the, fir the first night when i slept in the cliffs i think they actually came around and checked and then uh here's the uh the uh the big agnes um looks like i need to redo the uh redo the fly at the end but that's my tent 
um, all set up, ready to go. And inside I have all my goodies. Just show you real quick. There's a sleeping bag and the sleeping pad, and then over there I got clothes, extra layer of clothes to change into for later. And then um, there's some camera gear and, and, and uh, a couple other other things that I'm going to um, going to get up at uh, 1:30 in the morning and um, going to uh, walk a mile down to um, Big Beaver Lake and um, see if I can do some uh, some astrophotography. Okay, and over here is my my pack with the hero clip working like a charm. Just put a little strap there, attach it to the tree, attach it to the pack, the pack is just sitting there. Um, it's attached again, the belt around the other end of the branch with the poles in the middle. Uh, nothing's going anywhere. And then I put the, uh, the rain cover on the outside of it um, just to keep any dew or moisture off of it until, uh, I'm not, I'm, you know, I can get it all together and get get done tomorrow. And then walking back over here, I um, just want to point out that I'm not alone, which is fantastic. I actually have neighbors. That's their tent over there, which is huge. Like you can stand up in that thing. Um, but uh, it looks like a, a younger couple. They are down at the beach with their books, um, soaking up the sun and uh, taking in the sunset. Yes, I do. Six something. 